What you're about to see is a modified ASTM D83806 test. The reason why we're modifying it, usually it's done inside of a tunnel, but then you couldn't have visibility. So the purpose of this is to show you the effectiveness of Flame Safe's fire retardant coating. The particular coating we used on this board is Fire Poly FP100. It is a high intermittent coating. Push mode, push mode, The ASTM D3806 test is the, sometimes used as the equivalency test for the ASTM E84. This test usually runs approximately four minutes. We are going to run the test for a little bit of, over eight minutes to show you the effectiveness of flame safe fire retardants. Fire Poly FP100 that was applied to this 
specimen of oriented strand board was applied at about four mils. A mil equals one thousandth of an inch. As you will notice when this test is completed, the expansion of the intermissions has increased to 1,500 mils. 1,500 mils is equal to 1.5 inches. It's important to take note as you view this video that the expansion at the burner was a three inch flame coming out of the Bunsen burner. If you'll take note that, that the intermittence, that is the expansion of the carbon char has almost reached the top of the burner. If you'll take note about this time, that there is only a quarter of an inch space between the top of the burner and the bottom of the intermittent. If it expands much further, further, it will actually put out the burner.
What is unique about the ASTM 3806 test is that you can't get inside the, the ASTM E84 test specimen when you're burning it in that particular test called the Steiner Tunnel Test. This gives you visibility to actually witness how far the expansion increases. When we complete this video, we will take a tape and we will measure the height of the intermissence, which is unique to the ASTM D3806 test. The important thing to recognize about the, about the ASTM 3806 test, it also takes into consideration the mass loss of the specimen. The reason why this is important to show you that there is no structural loss to the specimen being burned. That's important for engineers when they're engineering buildings. Another unique feature, if you'll notice in this test, if you'll notice there is almost no smoke development. Flame safe fire poly FP100 has the highest intermittent rate of any product on the market. And it has on OSB it also meets the qualifica qualifications uh, for a FRS rating which means it can be used as air chases. The requirement for an air chase has to do with the smoke development index. Flame safe fire poly when applied to OSB and tested according to the ASTM E84 had a smoke index rating of 40 which is substantially less than what the requirement is. The 4 mil application rate equates out to 200 square feet per gallon, which is six thousandths of a pound per square foot. The specific gravity of Flame Saints Fire Poly FP100 is approximately 1.5. The weight per gallon is 12.1 pounds. Wet weight. Dry weight would be one half of that. or six pounds. That's six hundredths of a square feet per gallon.
We are going to continue this test for another minute, which will bring it to three times what the standard actually requires in this test. At this point, if you'll take note, the intermissence has expanded to within one eighth of an inch from the top of the burner, completely blocking the flame. At this point, we're going to remove the Bunsen burner from underneath the specimen. And we're going to rotate the specimen so that you can visualize the expansion. If you'll notice the expansion, On the three-quarter inch specimen, it is now two and three-eighths of an inch in height, approximately one and a half inch expansion of the intermissive coating. Please notice the reverse side of the board. No intermissence on the reverse side indicates that the heat transfer from one side of the board to the other did not occur, otherwise there would be a white film showing on it. In just a second, we're going to scrape the intermissence off to show you what the specimen looks like. If you'll notice that it did not, the intermissions protected the substrate to such an extent that there is no structural loss to the OSB panel. 